and welcome back to Otaku no Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me for this video explaining Akira the movie as a foundational text of anime. By that I mean that Akira is considered a classic of anime and it's also gone on to be very influential both within the anime industry and within fandom. It's one of those movies that you kind of are supposed to watch. Uh, and so I want to explain what it is about Akira that puts it in that category so you'll be able to make an informed decision about whether you should actually watch Akira or not. So Akira is this massively popular anime film that was released in 1988. It's very dark, it's very brutal, it has a lot of gore, it has a little bit of nudity, um, and it's clearly aimed at older teens and young adults. Now it's remarkable less for the fact that it was dark or the fact that it was aimed at an older audience than for the fact that it made lots and lots of money. This was the most expensive film ever made in Japan up to this point. Not most expensive anime film, most expensive film, period. And it still made oodles of money despite the fact that it couldn't be shown to kids. Moreover, Akira maintains an aggressively dystopian tone. Very dark, very depressing. Um, dystopian movies generally don't do very well in the box office, and Akira did, which would set the tone for later anime series, but we'll get to that in a second. Beyond that, Akira has exceptionally smooth animation. Now, animators in Japan had been working on their animation skills for quite a while at this point, um, going back about a decade, uh, actually. Um, but most folks in Japan hadn't realized how skilled Japanese animators were at animation yet. Uh, they were used to um, uh, anime series that just weren't quite up to that par. And some folks knew, some folks uh, didn't. But Akira cemented in the public uh, imagination, uh, particularly in Japan, that Japanese animators could create gorgeous, um, you know, not only movie quality, but international movie quality uh, uh, animation um, in an anime film. So what was Akira's impact? First off, it set the tone for the anime of the 90s. Because of Akira's massive success, it became a template for a lot of the anime made later. In other words, um, the financiers looked at Akira and said, that made money, make more stuff like that. And so you see the darker anime of the 90s. You see the more uh, bloody and gory anime of the 90s. Now, of course, there's plenty of blood and gore in the 80s, but it was more over the top. It was more um, silly or absurd. Whereas in the 90s, um, it could certainly be over the top, but there was a darker, grittier feel to it. Also, now anime could go after the adult market, and it could do so very well. And by adult, I don't just mean uh, you know, nudity and violence. I mean more serious uh, content, uh, more serious um, uh, uh, tone, and a more serious subject matter. Um, uh, Akira, the, the film, unfortunately doesn't delve into these nearly as much as the manga does, for example. It can't, just because of the time uh, difference. Um, but it uh, established this idea that you actually could do this to some extent. Um, and so the anime of the 90s was suddenly aimed at an older audience than anime of the 80s was in general. Moreover, for the rest of the world, Akira hit the art house circuit. And this meant that it was seen by a lot of college students around the world. And it basically kickstarted the American anime industry. Now, there was already an American anime fandom, uh, especially in the 80s with Robotech. Um, uh, you know, the, the, the fandom had become a significant thing. Um, but there wasn't a, an industry around it. There wasn't a large set of companies, or a set of companies, maybe not large, um, supporting that fandom. Post Akira, suddenly there was. So many college students and high school students uh, watched Akira and became fascinated and became anime fans um, as a result of it. Um, and I'm talking in America and elsewhere in the world. That suddenly they were there um, buying anime and able to support the anime industry that uh, really became founded and really became a, a significant thing in the 90s. So those are the major ways in which Akira was remarkable and in which it had an impact. I'm sure there are more and the folks will give me those in the comments, but for now I hope that gives you a basic idea about Akira. Thanks for watching. See you next time.